Welcome back to Show Me Down Under. I'm Doug. Once again, it's another Monday, but it's Monday leading up to Christmas, so let's get it underway. We are going to go back with Chisel Face and one of their zoologist range and the civet, which has now sold out. It's been sold out for a while, so I don't think they remake them. So I'm happy to have this. What was the other one I had? The, the Macau. That was just a wonderful uh, scented soap. This is the same. Just a, a delightful scent. I don't have any scent notes for you, unfortunately. But just a wonderful, wonderful scent. And we're going to roll with the Old Faithful. And pack of these. Wilkerson Sword Stainless Steel. I've no idea when these were made. But um, I was able to buy a box. As you can see in the uh, thumbnail for the video. So, yeah, let's give them a go. Okay, so there's the, the packaging. And here is the blade. Hopefully that focuses. So we've gone with the bore brush and into the bowl. Nice creamy leather. The first thing you notice brushing it on, besides it being a creamy lather, is you can smell the scent. And I like that personally. While we're starting, I just like to give a shout out uh, to all the people who've subscribed. Thank you. Uh, it amazes me. Um, I really appreciate it that you do it. So if you are watching this and you think, eh, I'll keep watching this geezer, you know, hit subscribe, hit the bell. I don't really like hustling for that. So, as some of you would know, I haven't done it at all. So, but, but I am a, I really do appreciate everyone who has um, subscribed to my channel. Especially all the Aussies. But anyone from around the world, and I know I've got a few from different countries. And that's cool. I like that. And why go diagonally instead of down now? And that's to try and 
speed up my shave a little bit, to be honest with you, because just going down, I, I need to go diagonally. So. Except for this bit. It's a rainy day here today in Adelaide. So far this blade feels really good, really good. So that was what I was able to squeeze out of the brush before, after the first pass, so. These bore brushes load up really well. I think you need more than one brush. I do think you need a synthetic if you have colder winters because synthetics dry a lot quicker than your natural brushes like horse, badger, ball. But in summer, any brush dries out quickly. So, thankfully, this year is going to be a milder Christmas in South Australia. We can have some cracking hot ones. So, I'm looking forward to that. I can tell you, I'm just going to have some days off and just relax. thinking this morning sometimes I do think about Christmas scented shaving soaps for Australia or Australian themed Christmas scented soaps And you know what? I couldn't think what would a Christmas scent in Australia be? You know, because some scents, um, soap, Christmas soaps are scented around candy canes, so they're going to be sweet, musky. And then you got those, those north, your northern winter type scents for Christmas. But in Australia, it can be hot. So you don't really have roast dinners here for Christmas. Some people do. Crank up the air conditioning. But in Australia, the average Christmas dinner is pretty casual. It's barbecue. Salads.
you know, I was out the backyard playing cricket or down the park or at the beach for some families. So what sense would you come up there? Grilled sausage? Prawn on the barbie? That's not a, people do that. It's not a real full on thing in Australia. It's more chops and sausages and meat patties. Oh, watched Brighton last night. Played Sheffield United, who are on the bottom, have only had one point. Five minutes before half time. One of the Sheffield United players gets sent off red card. They're down to 10 men. And yeah, that's all right. And then during the uh, second half, they score. They got 1 0. Couldn't believe it. Then in about the 87th minute, we get the equaliser. And then right on the death bell. Ali J, all you need to do is just knock it in with his head and he's hit the crossbar. Unbelievable. We have showed so much promises in the first part of this season and we just cannot find the back of the net. Frustrating. Yeah, a little nick there. So far, I like this blade. I've used yeah, Wilkinson sword blades, the ones you can buy now, you know, like every day, brand new, from the supermarket or wherever. And I don't like them too much, to be honest with you. But these vintage ones are a different kettle of fish.
And that feels pretty good. All right, I'll just wash off. Okay. That was a good shave. There's the, the tuck. Nothing really distinguishes it too much from the, the current ones you can buy. Well, that was a good shave. Just felt good. I, a couple of nicks here. I probably was just rushing it a little. Because I am running late. I'm always running late. This stuff here, sadly you can't buy it anymore. I'm, I'm glad I got hold of it. Delightful scent. Um, there's still one in the range, the Panda, which I've got, which I'll review soon. Um, so you can still get hold of that. There was one called Nightingale. I saw it while I was trying to find some information for this this morning. Found it on a... Um, on a, another website, oh, I don't think I saved the page, that, but there was a, a, a site that sells all different soaps. They're like a middleman type online shop. So if you can get hold of this second hand online, go for it. It's a um, good scent, good soap, good company. Um, okay, that about wraps it up. I hope you all have a really great Christmas. I hope you can all uh, chill out, spend time with the people that you want to spend time with, have a few drinks if that's what you like doing, and, and eat some good food. Life's too short. Um, okay, I will probably do a Christmas Day shave, and I'll see you then. All right, ciao.